This is a BMW F850 GS and I've noticed that I've got some play in the rear sprocket which I'll demonstrate here so you can move it sort of backwards and forwards but that is obviously taking up play in the cush drive but what I wouldn't expect is to have play sideways if I do the play from top to bottom you can see there's quite a lot of play in there so like I say I've replaced the roller bearing inside this hub with a brand new one and it's made no difference whatsoever I'm now in receipt of my new rubber cush drive for the F850 GS. These things are made from an incredibly tough rubber. So the new one is just as hard as the old one. So I thought what I'd do is a comparison to the one I took out to the brand new one to see if there's any wear. And as you can see, hopefully, if we put these side by side, and we've got the two bits, yeah, they're both the right way up. I mean, you can see where this one's warm, just there. But it really sort of shows up if you put them together and look up the edge of them. The one that's taken out, the one on this side, you can see it's like worn quite flat and the new one's quite um, this sort of rubber edge bit that sticks up stands quite a lot prouder. The other thing that seems to wear as well is flat spots on these pipped parts like this. This one here where the pip is just there instead of it being nice and round and again it's flattened off compared to the new one where it's quite a nice rounded kind of half spherical lump so looking at it I mean this is obviously the new one and all these little bits it's the same with these build outs on the side as well on the existing one here it doesn't stand out very far that's worn flat on there the new one stands out much prouder so it looks all these they're about two millimeters wide all these little build outs and on the one that's been taken out where the rear sprocket in its hub carrier is all sloppy and it's all just you know a little bit worn but without comparing it to a new one it doesn't look that bad but obviously um, it is so we'll get the new one back in and that should cure the issue. This is the wheel hub cleaned out and this is the old cush drive. On my wheel I have a mark on it so and I colour the uh, the cush drive rubbers both sides of this mark so that every time I take my rear wheel out and put it back together I can put it back in exactly the same position. On the sprocket carrier, I put a corresponding cross, and that cross lines up with the mark. So, this is the old Cush Drive rubber, which obviously has all the play and all the 
wobble and this comes out and drops in incredibly easily when you come to put the new cush driver rubber in it's incredibly tight and you won't be able to put it into the wheel hub you won't be able to put the new cush drive into the wheel hub first and then drop this on over it because it's so tight you can't do it so you need to put the new rubber onto this part first and that way it's easier because the tops of these blades are rounded over so that will squeeze the new cush drive rubber and it'll make it easier for you to fit it into the wheel so that's my next job now I'll paint up the new rubber so that it always goes back in exactly the same position this old cush drive rubber has done 17,000 miles a lot of it about 50-50 on road 50-50 off road on some good bits of terrain so it's had a hard life I suppose but did it really last 17,000 miles probably not this is well overdue replacement it probably should have been replaced well who knows at least 15,000 miles maybe at 12,000 miles but certainly this one is past its sell by date so let's get the new rubber painted up and try and get it fitted I've now got the new cush drive rubber painted up and I've painted it in those locations because the old one the whole of the uh, these areas on the arms were painted gold and the bit that sort of remained is the bit towards the bottom so on that one the new one I've painted it in the same place so I'll get the new cush drive rubber fitted into the sprocket carrier hub so I've fitted the new cush drive rubber into the sprocket hub on here I don't really want to use anything like WD-40 or grease or oil because I don't want to contaminate it I want it to have quite a good grip against the, the two parts of the cush drive hub so I'm going to use a baby wipe and I'm going to wet this you know I'm going to make all this wet try and use that as a lubricant in that way I'm just going to wipe it down with this quick and then really quickly pick it up and try and fit it and that way this will just evaporate off and be left with just rubber to metal contact so I'll attempt to fit the new drive back into the wheel hub okay so I've got the sprocket carrier fitted back into the wheel hub now it wasn't too bad actually the moisture from the baby wipe helped a lot I got it sort of like uh, halfway down but then to do that I've actually put this um, old towel on the floor I've got the I've still got I've got that wheel spacer in there to try and protect the bork ring and the disc brake from damage obviously that and I've actually got it in by standing on top of the standing on top of these studs and gently tapping it in by sort of uh, very gently stamping on it and that seems to have seated it down quite well and now this thing is absolutely solid it doesn't wobble and it doesn't twist and it doesn't budge so that hopefully will be the end of that particular problem I started looking into this because I was getting a strange noise from the drive chain it was like I don't know like at very very low speeds but like especially going up very steep hills and stuff it was like as if something was stuck in the chain I was getting like a, a clunk 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 and just making some dreadful noises so hopefully 
this will sort out those noises and that is the installation so I'll get this wheel back in the bike now and hopefully won't have to worry about it for another 10,000 to uh, 12, 14,000 miles who knows but from now on I will keep my eye on this now the other point I was going to make out is I don't ever remember having to change a cush drive on any motorcycle I've owned in the past what I've noticed that's different about this is it only has one roller bearing ball race in here it's not really it's not a roller bearing it's not a it's a ball bearing a thrust bearing but it only has one I think other bikes I've had I've had a pair of bearings in the sprocket carrier hub and also obviously a pair of wheel bearings as well so making up four bearings but this is only three bearings it's a pair of bearings in the wheel and it's only one bearing in here in the cush drive hub so when the cush drive gets worn instead of it only allowing sort of like with a pair of bearings it would only allow rotational slop because there's only one bearing this is allowing it to get the, the sideways slop which is what I noticed in the first place when I grabbed hold of the sprocket so hmm I shall keep my eye on it okay so I've got the wheel reinstalled now and the the sprocket is now absolutely rock solid there's absolutely no movement in it whatsoever so job done the new rubber was 65 GB pounds at the time of this video